Within the span of about a decade, self-driving cars will be fairly commonplace and they will redefine the automotive world in at least 10 ways. At least that's what McKinsey and company are saying right now. Uh, an automotive industry expert, Dominic Wee, works there. He authored a report of the same name and uh, joins me from Munich. Dominic, thanks so much for uh, spending some time. Let me ask, first of all, you know, I, I spent some time in an automated uh, autonomous Audi uh, recently and they said it would be available at least a level three availability, meaning you still have to take the wheel in case of an emergency within the next couple of years. Do you expect those cars that can drive us to work as long as we're kind of paying attention to come soon? Yeah, most certainly. Thanks a lot for uh, having me, Matt. Um, uh, most certainly we expect cars that will do what we call partial autonomous driving, what you just called uh, level three, to be on the roads in the next couple of, uh, of years. And it's already going to be a big step up from uh, what we're used to today. So, in the, and the headline number uh, from your report is how much time that kind of thing is going to save us, right? Because we can then yeah. uh, check our emails or eat donuts or whatever. And the average human spends, what, 50 minutes a day commuting? Yeah. Yeah. So when we talk about the 50 minutes, we talk about full autonomous driving, right? So this is not what we just described in two or three years' time. This is what we described what's going to be maybe commonplace in 10 to 15 years. It means the car goes entirely on its own. It's like a cab uh, without a cab driver. You could literally imagine having a car where you can turn around the seat and face backwards while you're driving. And um, so, so obviously when this is the case, you do not need to drive your car anymore when you're on your way to work, to the supermarket, going back every day. So and the, the amount of time, that's the number you just talked about, is this 50 minutes every single day, you, me, all of us are spending in the car, that's time that's going to be freed up. Um, 1.2 billion people driving cars every single day. If you multiply these two numbers, it's two times uh, the man hours that it took to build the pyramids of Gizeh. So let's hope we spend that time in a, in a meaningful way. I wonder, you know, a lot of this technology is available already. It just uh, needs to be implemented, regulation, obviously infrastructure. Um, how long do you think it's going to be until we get to that point? Yeah, so uh, indeed, as you mentioned, um, a lot of the technology is already there. But the thing is, until we have these cars driving on the roads day to day, a lot of other things also need to be solved, right? So, for instance, questions like, what happens if an autonomous driving car crashes into a tree, right? Or who decides where the autonomous driving car crashes? So there's a lot of infrastructure and regulatory, uh, regulatory hurdles that still need to be overcome. Um, and um, yeah, we believe this um, full autonomous driving um, until it's commonplace, right? It, you won't be surprised seeing one on the streets. It's maybe 10 to 15 years out. Your take on the insurance case I thought was most interesting. We'll no longer insure individuals, hmm. but rather the car makers. Yeah. Is that just at first or is that the change the insurance industry is going to see? Yeah, so um, um, yeah, we believe that um, the impact of autonomous driving is going to go far beyond uh, just the automotive industry and indeed insurance is a very good example. Um, today insurance companies, they insure individuals, millions of individuals um, against human error, right? If you don't drive your car yourself anymore, there's no need to insure yourself against um, human error. So what will happen instead is the, 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 the companies that make the cars and the, that uh, are suppliers to the car industry, these companies will need insurance against technical failure. So the nature of the risk that insurance companies are insuring is going to change fundamentally. I wonder about, uh, there, there are two systems that are sort of at play right now. Google has this system that relies on data, uh, very obviously data heavy from the street, from other uh, autonomous vehicles around, whereas Mobileye, the Israeli company that's making strides here, has a system that relies on a camera and a computer that reacts as a human would. Which do you think is going to set in first? Hmm. So I think in the end we are going to see a fusion of all of these technologies, right? Because, um, I mean, as today, safety is going to be the most important thing in driving. Um, we actually believe that road safety is going to improve a lot with autonomous driving. So I think car makers will aim for using the best of all of the technologies available to make these cars as safe as possible. All right, Dominic, thanks very much. McKinsey and Company Principal Dominic Wee.